Hey guys, welcome back to Data Products with R. In this video, we're going to be doing sentiment analysis. Uh, we're actually going to be quantifying positive and negative words within a larger text uh, to see if it's a happy text or a sad text, etc. Um, and so I'm not going to ramble on because this might be a little bit of a longer video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. Let's do a new R markdown HTML sentiment analysis and get rid of all this stuff. Okay, first things first. Um, the sentiments data sets. Um, there are a variety of methods and dictionaries, kind of um, like we had with stop words. Um, that exist for evaluating the opinion or emotion of the text. Um, so we have affin, we have bing, and we have nrc. So uh, nrc categorizes uh, words in a binary fashion um, into positive or negative. Um, Bing um, oh sorry, Bing categorizes into uh, positive or negative. NRC um, categorizes into positive, negative, anger, anticipation, disgust, uh, fear, joy, Sadness, surprise, and trust. And then lastly, Affin assigns a score between negative five and five with negative indicating negative sentiment and five positive. So like some words, are much more negative than others. Like not might be like a negative one or a negative two, but never uh, might be a lot worse. Those are just, those are off the top of my head. I don't know what they are in the dictionary, but you get the point. Um, the function get sentiments uh, allows us to get the specific sentiments lexicon with the measures for each one. So let's do our first R code here. Library, tidy text, and then we'll do another library, uh, text data, and then we'll do Athen, which is get sentiments, Athen. Easy breezy. So we click run. ends. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, and we can also, so then we, I'll just put this up here. Let's also, let's just run half in. And let's spell it right here and here. Here we go. Okay. So you can see abandon, abandoned, etc. is negative two, aberrant, negative three, through, I don't know what negative five is if aberrant's only negative three. Um, agonized, negative three. So that's the affid. Uh, so let's look at Bing. So Bing, we can do Bing, get sentiments, Bing, uh, and then we'll call Bing. 
take a look here. So remember this is just binary, negative or positive, so abolish, blah blah blah, these things are negative, abundance, positive, um, and lastly, NRC is the last one, right? Okay, um, so NRC is yes, sentiments, NRC. And then let's print out NRC. So this is the one that had multiple things. So you can be negative, it can be specific sadness, anger, fear, negative, sadness, anger, fear. It's weird that it's, oh, because they're listed multiple times. So abandon is fear, negative, and sadness. Um, and if you go to ability is positive, abject is disgust and negative, etc. Okay, um, so, um, so these libraries were created either using crowdsourcing or uh, cloud computing slash AI like Amazon Mechanical Turk um, or lastly by labor of one of the authors um, and then validated with crowd sourcing uh, so they made a list they had a bunch of people check it to see if <laughs> see if it was good or they had uh, Amazon Mechanical Turk do it or they just had a bunch of people be like is this word positive or negative and just vote on the words I suppose um, okay so let's keep going um, let's look at the words with a joy score from NRC so let's do library Gutenberg R library uh, dplyr library stringer and then let's get the Darwin books. So you have this code from the previous chapters, if you just want to copy your previous videos. Oops, that's not the right copy and paste. Um, so we'll just paste it. So this is Darwin, Gutenberg download, the numbers, and then the mirror again. Um, and then we're gonna do tidy books. We're gonna make this into a tidy book. So Darwin, or a tidy data set, uh, group by, we're gonna group by the uh, Gutenberg ID. Because we don't have book names, we just have the IDs from when it was downloaded. Um, mutate, line, uh, number equals row number. Chapter equals come sum str text text reg x anything for chapter. So we're gonna if it says chapter one, or it says we're gonna take the one uh, div xlc. So this is back in your regular expression stuff. Ignore case equals true. So if it's uppercase or lowercase, we don't care. Pipe down, ungroup. Unnest tokens, word, text. So what we've done is we've taken, we've made our tidy books, we've downloaded all the books, uh, we've grouped them by book, which in this case is we didn't have the book names, we just have the Gutenberg IDs because we didn't replace them. And then we're gonna say our line number is the row number, our chapter is, use this regular expression to find the chapter. 
uh, ignore if it's uppercase or lowercase, and then ungroup and do the word count. Um, so if we were to print this, tidy books, uh, let's run this again quick. You see that we have the Gutenberg ID, which is the name of the book, uh, the line number, the chapter, and then the word. So the Voyage of the Beagle by Charles Darwin, uh, about the online edition. <laughs> so it's just a bunch of preamble crap. Uh, and then you, well, it's a big like preface to this. All right. Anyways, <laughs> so you get the idea. Um, okay. Um, let's actually add, um, let's put this annotate. Uh, let's add the book name instead of GID, Gutenberg ID. All right, so we're gonna do uh, cow names, tidy books, one. So what we're saying is change the cow names of our tidy books, this data set, for the first column, which is Gutenberg ID. And what we're gonna say is uh, book. And so, oh, so we're changing the column name. So we're changing Gutenberg ID to book. And then we're leaving these numbers the same. I'm just gonna paste this part in, and you can copy it. Um, and I'll read it over to you. This gets, speeds things up a little bit and gets rid of typos on my part. So we're saying, okay, for the tidy, title, tidy books data frame, this data frame, take the column books, which we just changed, which used to be Gutenberg IDs, and for the entry of 944, write the voyage of the beagle. For the data frame books, take the column books, the first column, and where it equals one, two, two, seven, write the expression of emotions, blah, 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 blah. All right, so if we run this, and then we call tidy books, you can see now we have the Voyage of the Beagle. Um, I can't go further, but the next one would be the expression of emotions of man and, uh, and, man and animals, etc. So we've just changed that to make it easier to know what words are in what book, so you don't have to memorize 944, etc. Um, okay, now that we have a tidy format with one word per row, we are ready for sentiment analysis. Um, first, let's use NRC. Um, so let's do NRC, and we're gonna do just the joy words, right? So that's what we said before we got sidetracked with changing names. Get sentiments, NRC. We pipe down, and we say filter sentiments, double equal sign, join. And then tidy books, pipe down, filter. And we're just gonna do uh, the Voyage of the Beagle. Book, uh, double equal sign, the Voyage of the Beagle. Inner join, NRC joy. Count word sort equals true. Okay, so what does this do? So we're saying, okay, let's take our NRC uh, dictionary and we're gonna make a new variable called the NRC joy. And what we're gonna do is out of this dictionary, only take the terms that have the word joy associated. Then we're gonna take our tidy books and we're gonna filter that book and only use the Voyage of the Beagle. And then we're only gonna pull out words that are from our joy list. And then we're gonna count them. And we're not gonna do any of that because this, 
made a typo. <clears throat> this should be no s, should be sentiment equals joy. Ugh. Inter join, inner join. That's why I just pasted above. Okay, so our joy words from the voyage of the beagle. Found, good, remarkable, green, kind, tree, present, food, beautiful, elevation are the top joy words in the voyage of the beagle. Um, okay, so uh, we can also examine how sentiment changes throughout a work. Um, this is great for we're going to do it throughout the writing of a book, but you can imagine doing this through time and an interesting case would be something with COVID, right? Because we just kind of are starting to come out of COVID or maybe you think we're out of COVID, who knows? But um, like something controversial that built and then fell like ivermectin. So like ivermectin, people were like, oh, maybe this is the cure, maybe this is the thing. And then people were like, oh no, it's your horse dewormer. And then the sentiment went down. And now it's kind of making a rebound because the FDA has like put it on their list of, or the CDC put it on their list of like possible treatments. So it's like kind of rebounding. So it'd be interesting to see the sentiment of ivermectin. Um, it's hard because there's all this like counterculture uh, stuff going on now, but it'd be interesting to look at the data. Um, whether or not, like I'm either here nor there. I never took ivermectin, but whatever <laughs> but so but it'd be cool to see how people reacted on twitter uh, which is kind of the window to our country's soul it seems like the dark deep dark parts of our souls um so all right let's go uh so uh, i'm on twitter all the time by the way uh, not posting reading <laughs> library tidy r <laughs> let's see uh charles Darwin, 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 sentiment, uh, tidy books, inner join, get sentiments, we'll use big, so we're not doing, we just want to do uh, positive or negative, so we're going to count for each book, index equals the line number spelled right uh, why is that oh whoops this is percent slash percent e sentiment and then pipe down pivot Wider names from equals sentiment. Values from equals n. Values fill equals zero. Pipe down, mutate. Sentiment equals positive minus negative. All right. So we've got our Darwin sentiment. Eh, tidy R. There we go. Eh. <laughs> Interjoin. Wow. That's the second time. <laughs> okay. Unexpected comma. Book. Index equals blah, blah, blah. 80. Oh, there should be no. That should be there. Uh huh. Line number that eighty sentiment. Okay. 
once again, I do not see my error. So here, <laughs> just look at this and retype that. I'm trying to save some time so you're not watching me look for errors constantly. Uh, okay, so let's plot this now. Um, now let's plot it. Uh, good old library, our favorite package, ggplot2, ggplot, Charles, Darwin, sentiment, AES, index, sentiment, fill equals hook, and gmo, geom, Cal show legend equals false. We don't need a legend. And facet wrap. We're going to facet wrap by book. And cal equals two. Uh, scales equals three x. Okay. So, whoop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Face wrap, face it wrap. Here we go. Okay, so what we have here is we have the total line numbers in the book, and from those line numbers, each the er, it's by must be by page, um, and so <clears throat> um, what we have is the total number of positive words to be a positive minus the total number of negative words. So if you're negative, it means that page is very negative. If you're positive, it means the page is very positive. And so you kind of get an idea of the tone of the book. So if you look at the descent of man uh, and selection in relation to sex, you see it's quite a positive book. Uh, the Voyage of the Beagle is about 50-50. Uh, the expression of emotions in man and animals, very negative <laughs> compared to the other ones. Uh, and so, and this is just a, you know, these, this can't take into account sarcasm. It can't take prose or like anything not where you don't take words. And it doesn't have, uh, um, it's only unigrams, right? It's only single words. So if I say the word not, you would give it a negative con connotation. But if I'd say not bad, that would have a positive connotation. So we're missing some things, right, with multiple engrams, so like, you know, two or three word things. So, you know, this is just very preliminary. Um, and, and so you get an idea, but it's not the full story. It's not like, uh, it's a very rudimentary analysis, I guess is the best way to put it. Okay. Um, so, let's, stop there. Um, in the next video, uh, we'll start off by comparing the three different sentiment analyses, right? Uh, the three different NRC, Bing, and uh, what's that? NRC, Bing, and Athen. Um, so we're getting a little more into it, right? Um, I hope that you're kind of finding this interesting. Um, it'll get more interesting into the Twitter stuff. I guess we just got to kind of, you know, build our ability or our knowledge of what's actually going on with how we're marking words and, and determining what is positive and what's negative and breaking apart a text into single words. And we'll get into like uh, two grams and three grams and things like that in the future. Um, but if you're watching on YouTube, you're probably also going to be saying this if you watch a lot of my videos, but please hit like, please hit subscribe. Let's get the word out there. This is fun stuff. Uh, it's, it's cool. Be a citizen scientist. You can, by the end of this, you'll be able to get on Twitter and do some sentiment analysis of whatever topic, album reviews or TikTok dances or whatever kids are into these days. <laughs> I sound like an old man. My voice is all scratchy and stuff because I've been sick. Uh, so I really sound like an old man. Uh, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stick with me. We'll get into more sentiment analysis in the next video. And I'll catch you in the next one.